Hello everyone, FunshineX here, and this is episode 2 of the Computercraft Turtle Replication Challenge, in which we take a crafting mining turtle, and uh, using only a program and no interaction at all, have him uh, replicate himself twice into two other turtles. And uh, a couple other rules that we've got to follow, check out my description, a link in the description for the, all the rules, or watch the first video when I explained it. Um, we, I've kind of reset the world, it's not a total reset, I just kind of filled it back in, planted a new tree. Um, but I wanted to show you the next step, and if we look at the code, you'll see I've got a lot more things in my state machine, and don't worry, I don't have all these coded, you didn't miss anything. Um, but we got up to first tree, it was the last one. We got the fuel, we got the tree, and I said the next thing we're going to go is go and identify dirt and cobble. And uh, I kind of um, planned out what I want to do next. This is subject to change. I think after I get dirt and cobble, I want to go get some more trees because I'm going to need the fuel. And uh, after I get a few trees, I want to create a nice flat area to work with um, so I can now place my chest for storage and then I can go ahead and grab a furnace, get that torch. All this happens to ha has to happen in the first day. Um, I need to have some way to make sure he refuels himself and I'll probably do that um, maybe just inside the turtle dot move. Uh, um, remember, because I overrid that function, I could just have every time he moves check if he's out of or almost out of fuel. And if he is, he knows where where wood is in his inventory, and so he could eat one of those. Um, yeah. So let's get a let's get a look of the um, the dirt and cobble state program. Remember, those are all up here. We have all of our functions for doing everything we want to do. And again, the dirt and cobble. Well, let's see. After we run him through the first tree and the first fuel, basically this tree will be gone and he'll be in the exact same place he started with. And I know that under the tree, under every tree in a Minecraft world is dirt. They can't grow on anything but dirt, so um, I'm guaranteed to have dirt under this first tree. So that's where I get the first uh, thing, is I know... Um, if I go forward, and remember at this point he doesn't have anything in his inventory at all, just uh, a couple of wood from taking on that tree. He's going to go forward, he's going to select the 15th slot, which is this one right here, and he's going to dig, and that will put the dirt into that slot. Uh, he's going to then go select the first slot, and now that I've got a hole underneath him, I'll go ahead and dig, uh, drop up one of these logs on the ground. And then I'm going to select the 16th slot and call the suck down function, and that will put that one log into his 16th slot. So forever, whenever I know I need dirt or logs, I've always can just reference and compare the 15th and 16th slot. And that's a major part of this challenge is managing your inventory and knowing what blocks are. After we do that, I'm going to just dig down 30. 30 I just made as an arbitrary amount because I know if you dig straight down, you're going to run into a ton of cobble. Um, there's no real way for me at this point to know exactly where a cobble is. I might dig down and find dirt, I might find um, sand, I might find uh, tons of different things, um, like uh, gravel or something, iron. So if I dig down far enough, I can get a good sample size, and I know that I can assume that whatever I have the most of is then cobble. Sound good? Okay, so here's what I do. I go from i equals 1 to 30, go ahead and dig down and then move down, and so that he'll just dig straight down, and this is where I need to put a refuel, so if he doesn't run out of fuel here. And then uh, here's where I'm going to go ahead and find the slot with the most. Um, I start with the slot equal to 0 and the number equal to 0, they're just kind of initializing. I'm going to go from 1 to 14, so that's from the first slot until the 14th slot. And I'm going to say if the, the number of items in that slot, so he would see, so he after he comes up, he's probably going to have something like this. Like 30 down, he had like 3 dirt, 27 cobbles, something like that. So he's going to say if uh, the item count in the first slot is greater than num, and of course it will be at the beginning, so he's going to say 5, okay. Uh, then store the, the current slot I am and set the number equal to current value of that slot. So I'm kind of just finding a, writing a max function, find out which one has the max. And then we'll just go to the next one. So 
the max currently is 5 in slot 1. We go to the next one and goes, oh, 27 is bigger than 5, so I'll store slot 2 as 27. I'll go to this one and say, oh, nope, slot 3 is not more than 27, so I don't need to ignore it. And then you'll just see there's blank. There could be um, iron in here. There could be coal in here, stuff like that. But uh, it should work fine. He'll find whatever the maximum one is. Okay, now that I know which slot has the cobble in it, I'm going to select slot 14. Uh, I'm going to head and place... Um, wait, is that right? I don't, oh yeah, sorry, not select 14 yet. I'm going to select the slot that had the maximum, so I know that's cobble. I'm going to place a cobble on the ground. Um, because as you come up from mining, there's going to be this big shaft underneath you. Uh, or as he's digging down 30, there might be a cave underneath him. Maybe it's even lava. So I don't want to just drop a cobble on the ground. So I'm going to put a cobble down first. I'm then going to move up one, drop a cobble on the ground, select slot 14, which is that one, suck the cobble back up. And now I'm guaranteed to have cobble in 14, uh, dirt in 15 and wood and 16. And then I want him to go back to the surface, so I'll just go ahead and dig uh, in front of him. Uh, there's no point in him just going up empty handed, he might as well mine while he's down there. So dig in front of him, move forward, and then go 29 spaces up, because I've already gone one up here. So you go know, 29 spaces up, And then he's at the extra, or uh, drop extras. And why I did this is he might have a ton of crap in his inventory, you know, like this. I know that I've got one wood there. I know I've got cobble there, dirt there. Um, I have no idea that the way of telling this is iron ore. There is no way to know it's iron ore other than maybe har uh, harvesting it and trying building it into an, a pick or something to see if it works, uh, find some unique recipe. Um, so... There's really no sense of me keeping this at this point. It's just clogging my inventory. I can get iron later. I can get coal later. Um, so I just want to get rid of it. So that everything in my inventory, I know what it is. So I've dug myself up to the top. There's a big mine shaft under me. So all I need to do is go from slot 1 to 13, all the unknown slots, and then do compare. So I compare what's in the current slot to 14, 15, and 16. And if it doesn't match any of those, then it's junk. I'm going to consider it junk. Could be a diamond. I'm going to consider it junk. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and drop it down the mine shaft. So get rid of everything. And then just to get him back to his home position, he's now come up. Um, he dug under the tree. Now he's one forward, so he's going to be like right here. So I'm going to turn him around and move him back twice. Um, just in case there's anything in front of him, I always dig before I move forward. Does he need to move forward twice? I think he does. Let's just do that. Because I'd like him to get back to his original spot, not under the tree. And uh, as I improve this, I might uh, write that go home function. Remember, I, I kind of just created it, but didn't I write any code for it? And so I could just call go home instead, and he would know, try to get back to zero, zero. Um, but yeah, so I think we're good there. And then he's going to turn right, so he should end up exactly where he started from. So let's t make it daytime here, and let's see how he does. I'm going to go ahead and call. Let me get rid of NEI so it's not in the way. And let me get rid of everything he has because you shouldn't have anything. And call start. Uh, let me just put him in his initial state here. Okay, now we can start him up. Remember, he's going to break the block, convert it to wood, convert it to sticks, and eat the sticks as fuel. Now he's going to cut up the tree. Can watch him. 
and he's going to come down. Now he's going to go forward, get the dirt, drop it, pick up the cobble, or go pick it up. And then he's going to go mine. I don't want to kind of get in his way, so I have to be careful. You see, we've already got the oak and the dirt. And he's somewhere down here. It's pretty dark, I know. And now, is he down to 30? Yep, he did. He found he found the max slot, and now he's going back up. Looks like all he found was cobble and a little bit of dirt. And when he gets up to the top, he's going to drop any junk, which I don't think he found any. But you see, as it iterates through all those, nope, didn't find any junk. And he's going to move back to his starting position. Awesome. Okay, at this point when he comes up, um, I'm hoping this tree, which it has, has deteriorated a little bit, and I would like to get some of these saplings. So I'm going to write a, a quick little function that goes around... Um, leveling this area, so I probably go out I don't know I'll have to think about it, but I want to kind of level this area, so maybe in like a, a 5 by 5 area, because that's where saplings would draw, I'll go kind of in a spiral and, if, and find the lowest point or I could just dig down a couple, you know, for everything, but Oh well, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, that's going to be it. This is a quick little episode. This is all I'm going to do on these episodes. Keep them very short. Just kind of show you guys the updates and uh, come back next time and we'll go ahead and try and get some more trees. We'll plant a sapling or we'll go in and try and uh, do some kind of search grid to find another tree to cut down so he can be guaranteed, guaranteed to have enough fuel. And we'll see you guys next time. This has been Fungin X. Bye.